Captain Dave here. I've been asked, how do you make those economy jetty anchors out of blocks that you use out there at the jetties? Well, it can be used anywhere where you're basically throwing, you know, or needing to throw an anchor into some place where uh, you certainly don't want to throw a real anchor. You just want something to hold you. This is one version right here is I buy two whole blocks. The key feature to this is every once in a while you run into blocks that don't have this and every once in a while you run into blocks that do. At least I do at my local home improvement center. I always get the ones with the slot. And what I do is you can either use a little star drill bit like this, okay, or I take a pair of ice grips with a hunk of rebar and I tap this through there. All right, tap that through there. And then, like on this one, I've got a plate, a plate, and I buy just a big old eye bolt, heavy duty eye bolt with the with two nuts. And I take this same eye bolt and I put it through this hole. Now, this anchor here sinks a lot faster, of course, because it goes through, down through the water and the water passes through the holes. But this is twice what this is in thickness, as you can see. So what I've been doing is experimenting around with these. Bad thing about this is when this goes to fall, it wants to do this going to the bottom. All right, so when I drop it over the side of the boat, I don't just let it go and forget about it. I take it and I hold it sideways with my chain in my hand and I drop it over the side like this, over the side like that, and it goes down. And then as soon as it hits the bottom, I want to stay tight on the chain and I want this to tumble down and get stuck as we refer to it at the Mayport jetties as getting stuck between a rock and a hard spot. And that holds the boat, holds my 26 foot boat. And then here is one that I just used and it didn't want to come out of the rock so easy. And that piece broke off. So what? This here I think is a dollar 29. I think from my memory serves me right, that was $1.40. Actually, I prefer this one. I prefer this one now that I've been using this, but it just takes up a little more space. So you can see, I just got some square washers on that one. The eye bolt. And the whole idea is you're pulling from the center. On this, you're pulling from the center. That's the idea. My first time I ever did this is I wrapped chain around the center part here. But the problem is the block got real floppy. All right. So this is what I do. I use that with the eye bolt. And then small chain. A whole bunch of small chain. So it's basically like that. And this is about... 10 to a foot of chain to just some junk anchor line. And the reason being is you, when you're in our jetty rocks out there in Mayport, you don't want this anchor line anywhere down near this because it'll scrape and I've had the anchor line get frayed and then when you go to bust this block out by either pulling forward or pulling back or being straight up and down, being straight up and down and banging on this to break it, to come loose, um, my anchor line is broke. And then I lose, I lose everything. But this is all I use, a hunk of rebar, tap it through this. You can tap it through here to the center. This is just a solid block. And you can tap it through. I use a little, the little star bit, how this works is you, you 
tap, 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 with a hammer, of course, not these. Tap, and you just turn. Or, if you've got a big bit, a, a masonry bit, and a, and a good sized drill, just drill yourself a hole through there. That's basically it. This is what I refer to as the Mayport Jetty Economy Anchor.